Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. I know it's been like so long, it's been a month already. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the music again. I know I used the same one, so I apologize if you guys mind in that. And I wanted to say apologize for just taking so long. I had some family issues going on recently and I had to deal with it too. So I had to go and deal with it with my family and yeah, I'm not going to talk about it here because this is a programming blog, so... Maybe I'll make another video out of it. So, but anyways, I just wanted to say apologize for taking too long. But anyways, I'm here doing it now. So, I actually did this tutorial a long time. I mean, I, it's not really considered a tutorial, but I did this video, the one that I sped up. I did that like a month ago, basically the week after I did the other one. So, I ha I've been having that there for a while now. So, but anyways, my plan was to do the to write the code first and then explain it after. I'm trying to do different things and see which one works best so I'm just trying it different now so I'm explaining it after instead of before so what this video was about was basically in the player class and basically have a player in the game in, in order to be moving around so this is basically it's a basic player class for now until we build it up more and then figure out what exactly the player is going to be doing so but anyways I'll explain what I did so basically I created a, a character, basically this can be considered like a base class where I'm also going to be inheriting enemies, so enemy can be inherit character and like the player does, the player actually inherits some character as well. So basic character is just have basic information for now, where you can set velocity, have velocity, or you can set the position. Uh, Let's see. So it's basically, you know, initialize velocity. Grab the transform, where transform consist contains all my rotations and positions, and basically set position with updated with the velocity, and set it, and then have a friction on it. So basically, eventually it ends up ends up stopping. I know this is not the best way of doing it for now, but for now I'm leaving it there. It will update that after. So friction. 
I'll basically update that afterwards. And I have a set velocity where I'm going to be using more often because this actually sets, it clamps my velocity to a certain point. And I know it probably could be a better, different, probably this could just be a float. Because probably both of them should be the same. You, know, you don't want to have X going faster than Y. You know, they should clamp it at the same time, you know. So I mean, we we'll probably should do that. You know, I'm going to explain it first, what else I need, and I'll change it afterwards. But anyway, so we have, and then we have add velocity, which I can use more often because this also clamps my velocity. I probably should have just set, I kind of don't like the fact where you can actually call a function saying add velocity, but then you, you clamp it, you, you call this, and then just call this function inside of here. I kind of don't like the fact where you're calling two functions in one function, where you can, I mean, then again, I don't know, what do you guys think with that? Because then it has to look go to this function, then set it. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm not sure if it would be a little bit, tiny bit faster if you just set it this way, instead of calling this set velocity inside of here and just passing clamp, just passing this x and y into this function. I mean, it does the same thing. It's just I just don't know if it will be faster. But anyways, I'm leaving it like that for now. And then I have character, where it's, I mean, character, of course. Uh, I have a position where I'm going to be setting it to. So, that's basically for now. This is the base character, and it will be updated as we keep going. Uh, let's see. And then we have the player class, which is, for now, just simple. Which inherits some character. And we just have basic initializing update functions. And we have an update input, where we're going to be updating our input for our player for keyboard input. And like I said, I'll be updating this. I mean, for now, there are hundreds, but like I said, the both should be the same. In my case, unless there's a game that where X sh or Y should be faster than the other axis. So, I don't know. But then we have initialized. We don't have much in there yet. We have update, which we just update our input. I grab my input manager, where we just get the keys. So, W, S, A, D. Or just W, A, S, D. Keys. I just add the velocity. And that all is all I did. So this is going to be like a little simple video. It's not going to be long. Like 10 minute video. Maybe 12. It just ends up. Ends up playing. Anytime soon. But yes. So there we go. We have a character over there. Which probably should have been a different sprite. <laughs> I just called it the same thing for now. Since like I said. I'm not an animator guy. So I do my best. I know. Eventually, I'm going to come to a point where I'm going to start doing textures and all that. I just apologize if I suck because I'm not an artist. I mean, I could draw, but I'm not, I'm not the expert. So, I will apologize for that. But anyways, anyways. But yeah, there you go. So, my next thing that I want to do is start doing collision. So, that will be in the next video. I know this video is super simple. It wasn't, like, huge. I apologize. It took forever. But anyways, next thing will be collision. And then we'll be talking about that when I get there. But... But for now, let me update that max velocity. I think it should be better off if it's just the float. I feel like it's better off if, if it's just a float. And if you guys think otherwise, then let me know. I'll change it. <laughs> but I feel like it should be much faster that way. Because they both should be the same. I feel like they both should be the same. Oops. I do a shortcut that did not work out for me very well for me. Uh, don't know why. Did I mess up? Yes, I did. And I missed the parentheses there. Okay. Well, and then change the player to just say to equal 100. Oh, for comma. No. Cancel debugger because I know that's going to break on me. Alrighty. So basically, this should be doing the same. Hopefully, it should not, it should not break. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. 
So yeah, I think that's much better. But anyways, like I said, in the next video, I'll be doing collision. That's my next goal right now. And then after that, I guess I'll talk about it once I get to collision. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a little shorter than it should be. Or maybe it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, it's a simple player class. And, and yeah. So I'm going to do Collision next. And we'll talk about what Collision we'll be talking about when we get there. So I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys, I hope you, if you like this video, thumbs up. And it'll help me out better. Up and let other people know about it as well so they can join. And if you have any suggestions on me to make this video better, let me know. Put in the comments. And, and yeah, I would like to have some other ideas as well. So, is there anything else? No, that'll be all. So, see you guys, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Signing out.